Hello, the goal of this video is to create a Pecha Kucha using Google Slides. Um, remember, Pecha Kucha is a concept. It's not necessarily a tool per se, um, but the idea is that you're minimizing the amount of time spent on each slide and the amount of words spent on each slide, because the idea is to move through content quickly and to use visuals rather than text. Um, most of the time, Pecha Kuchas are like a minute, um, a minute or two minutes long just in general. Um, sometimes they can be 20 slides, um, 20 seconds each, 10 slides, 10 seconds each. Um, there's not a hard fast rule of exactly how long it has to be, but again the whole goal is to minimize the words and the amount of time you are on each slide. Uh, students can use this to create presentations about concepts. Teachers can use these to create presentations to teach students. So uh, to do this we'll go to Google, we'll log into our Google account, We'll come right over here to the side and we'll go to Google Slides. Then you probably want to start a blank one. I've already started one here, but we'll start a blank one. And then over here on the side, you'll just add in your slides. Probably on your first slide, you will have um, the name of what the, the presentation is and your name, but the rest of the items will not have, um, will not have slides on or will not have um, words on them. So you can choose to have a background or a design if you want to. And you can choose that by coming over here to theme and choosing a theme for your background that will just give you a nice colored background, something easy to work with. And then the next step is getting your images on your slides. So you'll come over here to the side, you'll choose to add probably just a blank slide. And then you'll go to insert image. You can either upload the image from your computer if you've went out to Google, save the image and then upload it there, or you can search right from within the web if you're searching for something specific. You can search those, grab the image, pull it over, you know, and make it a relatively large size. Okay, so that's going to be your process thus far in creating your Pecha Kucha. You're just going to add your slides in to 10 slides, 20 slides, however many slides that you're doing. So the next thing is to add the voiceover. Now, keeping in mind if you were in an on-campus setting, um, you wouldn't add that. You would physically be standing in front of your class, you know, with the timer saying, okay, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever, giving your speech. But in an online setting, you want to be able to add that voiceover uh, for students to be able to see it and watch it in their Google Classroom later. Um, if you're doing online learning, if you're using it for homework, that kind of thing. So now that's a little bit more tricky because um, Google or um, Google Slides does not have a built-in um, record slideshow feature the way that PowerPoint does. So we have to go about it a little bit different. So in a new browser, you just want to go to onlinevoicerecorder.com. This is going to allow you to create your online voice recorders. So you want to record each slide separately. So in this one, I will say, I'll just do this one really quick. So I'll say, um, I'll do my voice recording. Now when you do this, it's going to show you how many seconds you're recording. So you want to keep in mind um, that you're doing so. So we'll start the recording. We're going to click the button, button to start recording. This is an image of Providence Canyon. It is located in Georgia, actually in the top west area of Georgia. Okay, so I've done that. I can actually cut this a little bit because I didn't start talking to about right here. These little bubbles is what's showing you what you're, you're talking, your voice. Um, so there's just some dead air right there. And then I'll save it. And it's actually going to save to my computer. So I'm just going to show in the folder. And you can rename it. I would name it like, you know, slide one, slide two, slide three, so you know what you're working with. So you'll have that there. I'm going to move it to my desktop just because I like things to be on my desktop for me. And now we're going to go back to our Google slide and we're going to come in and we're going to insert audio and then I need to put it in my Google Drive. So I want to just come over here, go to my Google Drive, which if you have a um, Google account, just right over here to Drive. We'll drag and drop my recording into my drive. 
So it's on my desktop. I'm dragging and dropping it in. And as you've learned, um, your Google Drive is basically like your cloud storage. It's like your OneDrive or your OneNote or your Dropbox or anything like that that just saves things. So now I'm back here. I'm going to insert audio from my drive. It should pop open. I'll click it and select it. I chose number two. You know, I picked number two. That's why I named it that way so that it would let me... Um, let me know which one to go on what slide and then I'm going to come over here to format options because when I open the format options I want it to play automatically as soon as it hits that slide I want it to go ahead um, and play that voiceover so then I would continue to do that with the different ones here so I would click on this one and I would go to my voiceover. I'm not going to save it because I've already saved it on my computer and then I'm going to record my next slide this is an image of the Grand Canyon. It is located in northern Arizona. It is a great place to go hiking, but it is strenuous activity. Okay, stop that. Save it. Come down to the bottom. Show in, show in folder. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to name it with a convention where I know where it goes. Move it to my desktop going to go to my Google Drive, move it into my Google Drive, just grab it, move it right there, <clears throat> come here to my Google Slides, insert audio, and then I'm going to pull one, and then just make sure that over here it's going automatically. Okay, so you would do that for all of your slides that need that voiceover. So then the next thing is you want to um, go ahead and add in your, or you're going to create it to where it'll auto um, move through the slides. Because again, remember you're having a, a limited number of time um, in terms of your speaking on each slide, but you're also having the transition on each slide so that it will automatically move to the next slide. Okay, so to do that, after we've created all of our different um, slides with the audio on them, we're going to come over to File and we're going to Publish to the Web. Over here under the link, we're going to make it to where it's every 10 seconds. Um, if you're doing a 10 slide or 10 seconds, if you're doing a 20 slide or 20 seconds. Notice there isn't a 20 second one, so you can just choose the 15 seconds and know that you do have to cut it off early, or the 30 seconds if you need a little bit longer because there isn't an exact, um, an exact one there. So then you would choose that. Um, and then you want to make sure to click this option that says start slideshow as soon as the player loads. So as soon as, you know, the link is open, it immediately starts there. And then we want to uh, publish the content here. I already published mine. There'd be a button that says published. Um, this one's already been published though. Okay, so then it's going to give us this link, and this is the link that we would put in Google Classroom. This is the one that you'll turn in to your teacher. This is the one that people are going to use to get to your Pecha Kucha. So let's try it out. All right, so we paste in the link, and then from here we see, now the students are going to have to click on this icon Hello, to be able to hear the audio. The but it will play, and then as this is going, it is moving to the next slide as well. It's holding on to however many, you know, the, the timing on the slides. This is an image of Providence Canyon. It is located in Georgia, actually in the top west area of Georgia. And so what you're hearing now is the, um, the audio playing as the slides are moving through. So essentially, you've created a Pecha Kucha with voiceover as well as transition slots, which is pretty much getting you to the same result. And it's all happening within that link.